We've talked a bit before about how virtual reality will change everything from gaming to tourism. So I'm really excited that here on the expo floor of GDC, I get to show you three really exciting instances of current VR tech. Zero Point, the first fully 3D 360 movie, the Virtuex Omni, a haptic stand-up walking controller, and get a hands-on demo with the just announced Sony PS4 virtual reality peripheral project Morpheus. Hi, my name is Emily and this is Blink Pop Shifts. So we're gonna get some hands-on time with Morpheus, Sony's new VR headset, and I'm pretty excited about it. They have a whole new optic system and HD visuals and all these things that are supposed to make it a really immersive experience. I did have my doubts when they first announced it based on previous experiences with Oculus being really foggy if you had glasses on. It's a pretty beautiful, lightweight piece of machinery, but it is tethered to the PS4 at all times. And the PS4 is actually running all of the graphics for the headset, much like a PC would run the graphics for an Oculus. I was surprised how well it worked with my giant glasses. It didn't fog up at all. and It was very comfortable the whole time. Once I got the whole thing on and like the headset all set up and everything, you went inside of this shark tank underwater and you could look around and it was really exciting because you could like turn around and see your own like sort of weird headless body with like little flippers to swim on. There's an interesting like particle effect in the water that makes it the whole thing seem like really 3D. And there were fish like swimming through all your areas and then this big shark comes and like rips the door off of your shark tank and it's kind of exciting. They give you like a really piddly little gun though. That it's supposed to be a stun gun that you shoot the shark with but it does nothing but it was still really fun. And then the second demo that we did was a knight. You had two sort of floating gauntlet fist that you could like punch this dummy with. And there were a collection of swords that you could pick up and just like stab with which was really exciting. And uh, I tried really hard to like get it sideways through his body, but they weren't quite ready for that creativity. There we go. Oh yeah, two swords. <laughs> Surgery! <laughs> cool because you get eaten by a stone giant dragon and it's just very exciting. I think that this the tech has a lot of potential. Obviously this is like a first day demo and they're still working things out and it has to be calibrated like over and over again while you're using it but I'm really excited to get one of these like in person and like play a whole game with it that's been specifically designed for this hardware. Obviously they have no release dates yet. They don't even really have a release date specific tech spec yet so we'll have to see in the coming I don't know, months probably, what comes out. Oh, okay. Next, we tried the Virtuex Omni just to make sure my feet were as confused as my head. Oh, my, <laughs> my name is Jan Gudgelek, the CEO of Virtuex and developer of the Virtuex Omni. This thing is great. What is your like intended market? You know, initially it's a gaming market. It's a very immersive gaming experience. It's what we call full virtual reality. Right. You mind your buddies in the game. And it's, 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 an, it's an incredible experience. But do you mean it for like a home experience or like an arcade experience? Because it doesn't seem like something I would really want in my house, but I yeah. definitely can see like going somewhere and like playing for an hour or something. Yeah, well keep in mind, this is just a wooden prototype. Uh, this right. is not the final product yet. So the final product will be a little bit smaller, a little bit sleeker, very easy to put the top part off, put it to the side. Okay. So it is for home use initially. So you uh, plan for it to be collapsible? Collapsible, easy to store away. Uh, we've sold close to 3,000 units uh, oh, wow. to home users. Oh, hey, can you tell me a little bit more about how the, the bottom panel works? Yeah, exactly. So the Omni is an omnidirectional treadmill, but we eliminated all the moving parts. So it's in essence a low friction surface on which the user walks with special shoes mm -hmm. and your objective is to mimic a natural gait. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're walking in the gate. We have capacitive sensors capacitive. underneath the base. Okay. Yeah. We did a Kickstarter campaign last summer. Oh, uh, wow. So we did a $1.1 million dollar on Kickstarter, which was a great success. Uh, and now we're selling them on our website for pre-order. It's like a workout. Oh yeah, it's a great way to burn some calories, stay in shape, exercise, while gaming. How awesome is that? Did you like it? Yeah, it was great. I got a little sweaty, but yeah. Hey, morning, morning routine. I got the high score! I got the high score! I got the high score! <laughs>
Lastly, we talked to Defung Dennis, the CEO of Condition One, about their 3D 360 virtual reality movie, Zero Point. This was one of my favorite things to see on the expo floor, not because their current demo has the most mind-blowing graphics or perfectly worked out narrative experience, but because Condition One is creating a new genre in storytelling. We've captured 60 times the resolution of HD video. Each camera is capturing 5K, 60 frames per second, a massive amount of mm -hmm. resolution but the headset can only display a maybe 1 20th of that information. So as the headsets get higher and higher displays, um, it's gonna look sharper right. and look better. This is going to become almost like a, a digital waking dream. Mm -hmm. This synthetic environment that almost feels and looks real. Right now it's easy to think of VR as some place you go to inside of this headset, but as this becomes more pervasive, I think it's going to start melding with our, our real world. As augmented reality comes and we start projecting images onto our real world, we're going to get this blend of real and synthetic. A lot of possibilities and opportunity here. I mean, it's going to start in gaming, but mm -hmm. we think that film and movies are going to be a great next application for VR. It's an easier entry point without having to have like a complicated right. gamepad or apparatus or anything. You're, you're essentially taking on the consciousness of someone else when you enter VR. You're taking a perspective where it's like being John Malkovich, right. where you can drop into someone else's mind and take that perspective. So there's so much that we don't know things we do know are frames don't matter, cuts are too abrupt, and so cinematography and editing, the rules no longer apply. We don't know how time is going to be shaped, we don't know if five minutes in VR is going to feel like much longer, and we're going to come back and have these sort of shifts in time and space. Like what would be considered feature length in VR might be much shorter than what we consider feature length in movies now. Exactly. So we think starting with shorter experiences, maybe 15, 20 minutes is the place to start. Uh, doing a 90 minute film in VR is just going to be too intense. This is a very visceral experience. I mean, I noticed when a person looked at you in, yeah. the, in the movie, I mean, you have a personal reaction. Everyone does. Well, if someone is staring at you, you wonder why. You take it very personally. Right. It's a new medium. This isn't just a gaming peripheral. This is a new form of communication, a new form of computing, a new way to interact with our machines. Mm -hmm. And this is just the beginning of what we're going to create. It's going to be interesting to see how we are we're merging these technological pieces of hardware with biological forms of our bodies. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're, we're, this is new ground where, I mean, the iPhone did it with touch, but that's just the most basic element. Now we're doing this with vision and audio, and you're going to have these reactions to the technology that we may not have expected. I saw so many things, my brain is stuffed. I learned a lot of GDC and I have some really great ideas that I'm excited to share with you guys. So as always, thank you for watching and get curious. Is the show really over? Yeah. Bruh. What are those called? Swords. Thank you. I forgot the word for sword.